What's up guys, so um, I haven't uploaded in quite a while because if you may have, you may or may not have seen from my social medias, um, I posted it on Facebook and Instagram that uh, I dislocated my knee at work. Um, <laughs> I was working on a on my, one of my boss's cars and um, I was cracking the wheel nuts off. I had all my body weight on the breaker bar and uh, suddenly when it cracked, my leg just twisted, my knee popped out. Yeah, that sent me on the floor. And it was about two hours before they were able to put, put my knee back in. So yeah, so then uh, then the next day, uh, I went for an x-ray and found out... Well, actually, no, that's a lie. The day I'd done it, I had an x-ray. And then I went back up there the next day to get the results. And they realised that they forgot to take an x-ray of my knee in a certain position so I had to have another x-ray so that was three x-rays that I had and then I found out that I actually broken some bone off from behind my kneecap so the last mm -hmm. three weeks whilst I've been in lockdown I've been recovering laid up in bed and doing like exercises I've been given like a whole list of physio exercises to build the strength back up in my knee and get my knee bending again properly it's been pretty tough and pretty hard, but um, basically it's just a little update to show you um, how far I've come really. I'll post some pictures now. Uh, here's a picture of what my, what, what my knee looked like when it was dislocated. So yeah, pretty, pretty horrible. Not nice. Not nice at all. They, it took them three attempts to push my kneecap back in, which... Um, yeah, it wasn't nice. They pumped. I was on gas and air. Uh, they pumped me full of one type of medication, and then that didn't do anything, like a like a painkiller. And then they put um, half a syringe of morphine in. That still didn't do anything. And then they checked my blood pressure to make sure it would be safe to put the other half of <laughs> half of morphine in. They'd done that. That still didn't do anything. But they had no choice but to just go ahead and push it in so when I wasn't looking she just came in the room the nurse just came in the room and just pushed it back in it took her three attempts and um what happened was usually the kneecap will go back in by itself when you straighten out the knee that didn't happen for me I I over I sort of like overextended it I guess and um it got jammed so they had to sort of like lift it up and push it back in which is why I've done so much so much damage I think and broken bone off from behind my kneecap and stuff so yeah it wasn't nice and then uh so yeah they got it back in and then after that i just went straight home um mum came and picked me up uh here's a picture of what it looked like when i got home it was swollen up like a balloon like that big it was huge so here's a picture of that and then yeah so um after that uh i had i had to try and bend my knee at 90 degrees so you know like that um like if you're like sitting on, on like a chair or something and your leg is straight down and i had to get it bent like that within two or three days and i managed to do it on the third day in the morning i've done it on the thursday and sunday morning i managed to manage to get it bent at, or it might be monday morning uh anyway i managed to get it bent but it was still extremely weak, extremely sore. I'm still sleeping with the knee brace on, just so in case I twist or turn, it doesn't doesn't pop out or pop out bleh, pop out again or anything. Um, so I went through two different types of exercises to get it moving again and bending and flexing, so it didn't seize up. And I'm now on the stage three exercises, which is all about trying to get strength back up in the knee to prevent it from happening again so i filmed a little clip yesterday or the day before of one of the one of the exercises i'm doing it's um called wall squats where your your feet are sort of shoulder width apart and then you lean back against a, a wall or a door i've done it against my bedroom door and then you have your hands like that so that you don't use your hands to support yourself or anything else and then you basically do like a normal squat but it's supported by your back on the door and then you like push yourself back up like sliding back up the door <laughs> so 
So um, that's been helping a lot with like the strength of my quads and my ligaments and stuff over my knee. Um, so yeah, it's 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 getting a lot stronger. I'm now able to go on walks with um without any knee brace or any crutches or anything. Today was the first time I walked Kobe without anything at all. Kobe's my dog. Um, I'll post a picture here of uh, the first. I think it was the first day I went for a walk uh, since I'd done it. I was I was in shorts with my knee brace on and both crutches, I believe. So there's that picture. And so, yeah, it's been it's been pretty rough, but I mean, to be honest, right now I guess is sort of the ideal time to do it, where I haven't got to exactly worry about going out anywhere, or you know, because the whole country's in lockdown, so it's it could be a lot worse. I mean, the way I'm thinking of it is everyone else is stuck at home as well, pretty much. So it's it could be a lot worse. Um, but I mean, yeah, today I went for a walk with nothing on, not nothing on, but no, no, no knee brace on, no crutches. And I took Kobe for a walk and that was all right. So it's getting there, but sometimes I'll be standing there and my knee will suddenly just like go and there's no strength in it. I can't get down the stairs without holding onto the, onto the banisters for support. So it's still sore. I'm waking up in pain and stuff like that, but I'm hoping to go back to work in hoping like around two weeks I should be okay to go back to work and maybe do some light some light work and stuff so um so yeah I've been using the time wisely for um studying this book called Get Paid to Race by Jess Shanahan awesome book if you're a racing driver and you're looking for sponsors Highly recommend it. It's about 15 quid or 16 quid off Amazon. No, not Amazon, off, off her website. Um, I've been buying a lot of stuff off Amazon lately. Um, yeah, it's like 15 quid. It's 15.97 off the www.racingmentor.com. I'll put it across the screen here. I'll put it in the description as well. Um, awesome, awesome book. Um, before, I thought sponsorship was just about offering, you know, a brand a sticker on your car or something and like a couple of posts on social media but it is so much more than that you learn the whole business side of sponsorship like what value you can you can give to brands and there's just tons and tons of information even if you're not looking for sponsorship and you've just got a business there's a lot of tips in there about how to like um expand your reach how to get um, like and like tools you can use to get more customers and more exposure and stuff like it's it's an awesome awesome book i'm about three quarters of the way through now um but i'm currently uh, researching a company that i'm gonna pitch to soon hopefully once this lockdown is over i want to leave it until after lockdown so that you know i don't pitch to them now and then they for whatever reason forget about me or they don't want to commit to anything now because of you know these tough times and stuff like that so i'm doing a lot of research about them a lot of planning about you know how i'm going to pitch to them and stuff like that so it's a incredible book if you go, if you go and buy it, it's 15.97 six so 16 quid and there's tons of information on there and um yeah highly recommend it and also the good thing about it is it's not it's not difficult to read and you don't get bored of reading it. Like sometimes, you know, I personally wasn't into reading books at all. Like I can't, I just, I don't like reading books, but the way it's written, it's written in such a way that it's almost like, like, like the the whole way through the book, you're just, you're finding things out that you never knew before. And like, you're realizing where you went wrong and it's, there's, you just just buy it <laughs> you just just honestly just buy it it's, it's so good but um so yeah i'm doing that at the moment and i'm doing that and i'm doing my exercises and i'm also planning another new business um which i've leaked on my instagram if you go and um check that out i'll leave my username in the description um I'm not going to say anything about it on YouTube yet, but because I want to make like a whole separate video 
explaining it and like um probably when i release it actually i'm going to make a whole new video advertising it and yeah just just talking about what it is um but that's something i've also been spending a lot of time on planning and yeah i'm really really excited for that so um stay tuned for that my next video to be honest i don't know when it will be or what it's going to be on um hopefully in the next two to three weeks it's when I'm, you know, back on my feet properly and I can work on cars again because there's no way I'm going to work on a car at the moment. I can't even kneel down or anything like that. So um, next video, not too sure what it's going to be. Um, hopefully working on the van, the Astra van. Um, that would be ideal because I've ordered all the parts and they've all been being delivered whilst I've been at home recovering so um, I'm just itching to get back to the workshop or the garage and start um, start fixing it and getting it ready for MOT and stuff so um, that's probably going to be the next video or the next few videos are going to be the van and getting the stock car ready for for racing again there's a big big list of um, of things I've got to do to that to get that ready so um, that'll all be in future videos right now all I can do is pretty much just just focus on building this business, my sponsorship, and just recovering and getting getting back to normal so I can get back and start making proper videos again. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, that's basically what I've been doing, just a little, just a little update. Um, if you want, at the moment, I've started, I've started making a weekly newsletter um, through my website, and that will get, that will get emailed to you every single Thursday. So if you check the link in the description for my website, go on there, make an account, and that automatically um, adds you to the mailing list, and then every single Thursday, you're gonna get a new weekly newsletter, just updates about what I'm doing. At the moment, it's just gonna be more about like my recovery and stuff like that, but in the future, it'll be more about working on the car, preparing the car, and everything else. So, um, like, uh, and I might include like recaps, like race recaps from, the weekend before and stuff like that so um so yeah if if you're interested in that then go over to my website make an account and then you'll get added to the mailing list and then you'll start receiving emails every single week um so yeah like and subscribe check out all my socials they're all in the description and i'll see you next time cheers